In addition to League Cup success, Alex Stock took QPR from the third to the first division in as many seasons. He's now 70 and these days passes on most of his footballing wisdom to his grandson Robert, a keen Spurs supporter. Well, he was in a tackle with um, the boy Maguire. Yeah. He was playing sweeper for... His uh, one remaining trophy is a testimony to his loyalty yeah. to QPR. But he still remembers the vital goal for Yeovil as if it was yesterday. Someone said to me the other day, it was just outside the box. I said, no, don't be silly. It was a good seven yards outside the box. That's special, that seven yards. Left-footed, and usually I just stood on that one, didn't I? You know, that's what people in pro football tell me. And in the top corner, just whacked it, and it stuck. Now, a lot is spoken of the famous sloping pitch yeah. at Hewish. How much of an advantage does that give to Yeovil Town? Well, I think, I think if you're a league side that plays at Yeovil year in and year out, you get used to it. And I don't think that's why Yeovil lose in the league. But if you're a cup side who come from a first division and off a plastic pitch and you walk in and there it is, there's one or two who will say, oh, you know, they just won't say, oh dear. They say, oh hell, what have we come to? You have to know how to play on the pitch. And that means you have to keep the ball on the top side, right up on the top. You know, the fellow who's wide up there doesn't have to stray from the touch line by two inches and you have to keep slinging it up at him. No go area underneath the grandstand, because the ball goes too quickly. You can't play football there. So being realistic, do you think Yeovil do have a chance? Well, now being a firm supporter of Queen's Park Rangers, you know, I've dodged this one. I've dodged this one. And um, I've really said it's going to be a draw. Now, that's what I really think. That's not hedging. I think the result will be decided at Shepherd Bush on the Tuesday. What's he mean, Yeovil's going to win hands down? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a very much on the cards. And where better to begin than with the tie which typifies the glamour of the cup, non-league Yeovil from against First Division Queen's Park Rangers at the Huish, a ground which has been a bit of a graveyard for league teams over the years, starting way back in 1949 with First Division Sunderland. Cup fever grips Britain and Somerset finds itself centre of the footballing world. Giant killing Yeovil, a team of part-timers who became heroes overnight, made soccer history before an 18,000 record crowd. Having buried a second division team, Yeovil now tackle first division Sunderland, former cup winners and team of proud records. And in the 28th minute, the unbelievable comes true. A well-judged free kick by Stan Hickman sends the ball into the Sunderland goal mouth. It bobs around dangerously, comes loose, and with a quick turn, skipper Alex Stock slams it in. But no matter what the result, we at Yeovil shall have a rattling good day out. Well, you certainly had a rattling good day out then. You beat Sunderland 2-1 in the end, Alex. Do you feel the same sort of thing could happen here against Queen's Park Rangers today? Well, you've got the... you're here as well as I am the annual gathering for the slaughter of the innocents. <laughs> you know, same load of mud, same crowd. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. What about this famous Yeovil slope? Six foot it slopes from the top end down to where we're standing. What sort of advantage is that? Well, I keep on telling people, you yeah, have to know how to play. Useless trying to play down here in underneath the grandstand. A no go area. You've got to fling the ball up to the top wing, because you can attack better there, can't you? Now you see a lot of Queen's Park Rangers these days. The applause are for some of the Yeovil players coming out to warm up, but do you think Rangers are up to the task here? Well, I think when they looked at the pitch, they had a few butterflies, but I think their pace will get them out of trouble. I think they're favourites. Although I've gone to being strictly neutral, I've said it's a draw. <laughs> And looking today, I think it'll be a, there'll be a few goes about because there's going to be some mistakes made on this pitch. If you were Brian Hall, the Yeovil manager in that dressing room just across the way there, what would you be saying to the players now? I'd say get stuck in and get a few tackles in early. Hmm? <laughs> It'd be a, a case of uh, inspiring talk there. Well, I think, quite honestly, you know, this pitch is going to... Uh, if you haven't got the salmon of a horse, you won't last out here today because this mud is 
is clinging, is it? It's not just mud. This is thick Somerset mud. Clings, and the pitch is going to cut up. So I think the ball players are going to have a hard time. Well, Yeovil do have a, a tremendous record here this season. We can have a look at one of their goals. This was the goal against Worcester in the first round proper from John McGinley, who's a real FA Cup specialist. And lads, back in the studio, I'm going to leave you with one message from down here. It's a quote from John Dryden, the poet. They can conquer who believe. I wonder if Yeovil will believe enough this afternoon. Very yeah. fitting, Martin. Very. You played actually on that pitch, haven't you? Yeah, I played three times, once for Chelmsford, twice for Barnet. Never lost, Ian. Oh. Incredibly so. But it is an in in incredible pitch. You take a corner and you're level with the crossbar. So you just drive it straight oh, in, you know. Yeah. You've got to adjust. But Alex Wright, get it over onto the, the side of the, the pitch that where the slope's the highest. And of course, there's a two o'clock kickoff there. That's why you can see the players out warming up with 45 minutes to kick off. Well, I'm